what are you? What do you do? Oh, you have a restaurant, or you make furniture, oh, you do design. And usually I tell people, I am a maker more than anything. So on my Instagram profile, you can see I make food and furniture. When you run a business, you're wearing so many hats. You're constantly doing two, three, seven things on a given day. That's what I definitely enjoy from both processes. When I'm here and I'm baking, I'm just baking. And when I'm making furniture, I can't just do one thing at a time. There is another creative component to food and furniture, which is what do you have available? What do you want to look like? You know, either it's an empanada or it's a tabletop or a piece of furniture. You're definitely running through a similar creative process. I am from Northwest Argentina, a small town called Palpala, right outside Jujuy. My grandmother took care of me when my parents were at work until I was five years old. I have like very fond memories of just being around the house with her. I always had pretty big dreams. What I do now, it kind of like brings together all my roots, but on the place where I always wanted to be. When I landed in Philadelphia, it was 2010. I came here to open my first cafe. That's where I brought Argentinian food to the Philadelphia table. Once we were open, people started asking, why don't you have empanadas? So that was kind of like my very beginning from zero to everything of making empanadas. I grew up watching my grandmothers make empanadas. Uh, my duty was to roll the dough, and it still is one of my favorite things to do. You know, if you live in a bigger city like Cordoba or Buenos Aires, if you go to any kiosk, they will usually have empanadas. Traditionally, you will always have a beef empanada, but chicken is also very common in like different parts of the country. Having this eye for design, it has helped me so much to put the right place together, to make sure it's pleasing to the eye, to whoever is sitting at the table, but also know that the person who's on the other side working there is also happy because they can move easily, there is a flow, and that's how I landed on this beautiful space in West Philadelphia that has the character of an old world, but I got to put these like new, clean aesthetics. So when you walk through that red door, you're right into the studio, and that's where we carry items that I will usually have at my home that now are available for purchase. We host cooking classes. You can also enjoy some really good tea. From that, you can walk right into the cafe, which is where we prepare all the food. And then next to it, you have the atelier, which is the showroom for my furniture. So if you are looking to buy some furniture, if you wanna just come and experience the furniture before you have it home, this is where you can do it. Here I'm gonna make the alfajores. I've been making these cookies since I'm like five years old. So sometimes it's a little trippy when I shave them or when I make them because I was like, oh my God, I've been doing this for like <laughs> over 30 years. The staples in our daily life are medialunas, alfajores, pasta frola. We make them fresh and they do have some of them a little more of American flavors but I also stay pretty traditional. I definitely get to bring those flavors from home. I was craving my grandma's food. You know, she put food in front of me for a long time. And then I was like, wow, why don't we talk about the diversity on Hispanic food, because you know, the food from Honduras is very different to the one from Argentina, to the one from Mexico, to the one from Spain. But we usually put everything together in one bag, Latino food. This dinner series that we're hosting now is called If My Grandma Were To Cook For You. We invite a guest chef 
for every meal. It started in March 2019. As today I'm cooking this meal from Argentina, I'm definitely honoring my grandmothers. I have tried to make their food before, but this is very serious. I truly respect the ingredients that they use and the way that they cook. Hi everyone, I'm Jezebel. Thank you very much for coming. It's weird to be standing here by myself. Today I'm the host and the guest chef. So what you're gonna have today is not fancy food. It's just delicious food from the heart. You are gonna have a pickled eggplant. We just made a little bit of bread with my brother. You are gonna have a little croquette. My grandma used to call it bocaditos. And for those, I use carrot leaves. And then we will have this uh, roasted chicken uh, with also roasted potatoes. And I made like a little tomato red onion salad to go with it. Everything is like really fresh. And then we're gonna finish with a fruit salad. I add a little bit of meringue. Thank you again, and we're gonna be serving you soon. This is open to the public. We hope to share our grandma meals with everyone. Everybody's welcome to the table. <laughs> <laughs>